and this is really awkward because there are lots of people watching me. That's not a problem. Um, we are here, this is Parliament, as you probably noticed, and it's Canada Day, so I have flags. And it's Friday, it's Challenge Friday, where I do real challenges from real nerd fighters or something. And hopefully you're going to be able to hear me. And my challenge today was to go around and ask people what DFTDA stands for. Um, and so we're going to do that. What do you think the DFTBA would stand for? DFTBA? Yeah. I have no idea. Now, if you were going to make something up. DFTBA. TBA is usually to be announced. Okay. DF, I don't know. This is a trick question. No, it's just, we're curious. Okay. DBTFA? DFTBA. DFTBA. Sorry, say it again. DFTBA. Downtown Federal. That's all I got from that, something. I don't know, I'd have to see it. Okay, so how about don't fall, uh, don't follow the... Uh, that's good, that's good. Don't follow the, the bad... Apples. Airplane! Airplane! Excellent, excellent. <laughs> I wanted to ask these mantis, but apparently they're not allowed to be filmed, so instead I just asked my friends. Say hi. 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 Yay. <laughs> well, I would think it means don't forget to be awesome. Ah, good. What do you think DFTBA stands for? Don't forget. <laughs> hi. What do you think DFTBA stands for? Don't <laughs> find to... I have no idea. Okay, I'm just sorry. two more letters. Um, broken. I don't know. Okay. So, Noreen. Yeah. What did we do? Did we manage to ask people? We managed to ask people. Yeah, but like three RCMP people. One guy was on weed, an RCMP officer said he couldn't do it. Some guy couldn't come up with the first two. Yeah. Um, you just said to be announced. That's to be too that was actually that really was good, good though. I would yeah. never thought of that. No, that's too like on my university schedule. It says TBA when they haven't decided where the classes are. I would never think of that though. I don't know. I might have thought of it with time. Someone but that Winnie the Pooh girl. She was good. She was the best. Yeah, that's her shirt cool. was pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't know like, why she was trying to do that. Like, I'm not a part of Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is awesome. <laughs> I came up with a list of things. Okay, on my so phone. you, Do you go. want me to read it to you? Oh, you came up with a list of them on your phone? On my phone. Yeah, okay, okay, awesome. For D, I came up with don't do dawn and dog. Forget fool, foolish and fooling. To the time, true, tumble, truck, think, thick and thin. Boys, boy. <laughs> Wonder what's on my mind, right? I don't know. Be beautiful, balls, bounce, bucket, big. Bald is one too. Bring B like B and B. Awesome apple. Add advocate avocado attributes. Avocado Arthur, is the best Arnold, one. like Arthur from like the TV show, and Arnold from Hey Arnold. Don't. Cool. Truck bucket avocado. <laughs> nice. There's a weird one. That's a good one. Short of it is, I tried the challenge and it didn't completely fail. I did get some answers as you saw, but you know, mostly I just got sunburned. So yes, we started off just asking people about what they thought it meant, but we decided that they actually found it quite difficult to remember all the letters. So um, we wrote down the letters so that people could see it, but then we only got to use that with one person because the RCMP wouldn't do it anyway. So yeah, I tried and I think we got a bunch of people and that works and we came up with some. So yeah. what does this actually mean? But don't forget to be awesome. I hope so does. On that note, I will see you all again on Monday for more discussion type things. And I'm sorry again that you have to see me three days in a row. This is just, uh, <laughs> seems like too much. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and don't get too sunburned. And happy Canada Day if you're Canadian. Go back and happy 4th of July on Monday if you're American. And I'll see you all again on <laughs> Monday. Bye. So oh, this episode of Across the 49 is um, brought to you by Katie and her friends. Yay! Look, it's a 3D person. Hi. It's a what person? A 3D person. How am I a 3D person? Because I can poke you. Ah. <laughs>